Uh, hello everyone, this is uh, Russell Lowe speaking and uh, this tutorial is going to be uh, on creating a moving element in uh, the new CryEngine 3.4 uh, version of CryEngine 3. Um, we are in the moment in a, uh, a game that's been made, or actually a simulation engine or situation engine is what we're calling it, uh, made by um, myself and um, Associate Professor Sidney Newton and um, uh, Rosamond Kemba uh, who's been doing all of this modeling and uh, game development uh, that you can see here all the sounds that you'll be able to hear the vehicles and all that sort of stuff uh, so I thought it'd be a nice environment to create a um, uh, to create a moving element in so uh, what I did uh, to begin with was uh, created this um, pretty ordinary object inside SketchUp and exported it. Uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, insert it into the game and add what we call a, add what we call, we meaning me and everyone and uh, uh, Crytek called a flow graph um, and I'll show you a few things about that. So to put this into the game I'm going to open up the entity tab and then uh, Entity Browser, sorry, and I'm going to go into the Physics part of it and I'm going to add a basic entity and let's just snap it to here. Now uh, we're going to use a basic entity rather than a geometric entity because the um, physics uh, collision stuff between the player and basic entities um, works um, works better and works at all. Uh, the first thing I need to do though is go down to the model in the, under the roll up bar under the um, basic entity uh, and this is basic entity 26 actually let's call this arch 1101 uh, elevator demo let's call it that um, and then in the model let's navigate to um, game levels single player so this is where I saved my or exported my um, my funny little elevator model to so I'm going to drop it down so it hits the ground there and actually I'll move it back a bit so it doesn't intersect with that building and there we go uh, so it's in the world not doing anything first thing I want to do is create a flow graph so we click on this and we have to give it a, um, a group for it. So let's call it a new group and uh, call it Arch1101 Elevators. So this is our flow graph and you can see that it's using Basic Entity 26 and Arch1101 uh, Elevators and it's in the Entities um, uh, part of this uh, window if you'd want to find it again. Uh, and you probably do. Uh, so I right clicked on this and I'm going to add some nodes. First thing I'm going to do is add an input key and you'll see that it has input colon key that helps you find it. Um, double click on the key and I'm going to hit O there. I'm going to select this and uh, control C and control V to make another copy of it. Everything's exactly the same. So I'll change this to the P key and I'm just hitting the letter P after I double click that. Uh, the next thing I'm going to add is add a node, right click and add a node and go uh, miscellaneous uh, start. We use these ones a lot to um, trigger things right at the very beginning of the game. As soon as you hit control G and drop into the uh, level, this gets triggered. So now I'm going to add a node and I'm going to say entity get position. Uh, get pause. And the entity that I'm going to choose is I've got it selected here so I could right click and I could say assign selected entity or assign graph entity. Um, in this case they're the same thing. So when I say assign selected entity it says it's actually the graph entity. This is the entity that I used to create the flow graph so that's why it's the graph entity. Output from this one so as soon as I hit um, control G I go into game and it triggers uh, this, this little thing here to get the position of this and it'll output that position, it'll output the rotation scale, what direction is forward up and all that sort of stuff as well so you can you could use those for different things. 
The next thing I want to do is I want to add um, 10 units, uh, 10 meters in the z direction. So um, not in the x or the y direction, but in the z direction. So what I need to do is right click and add a node and go, and now sorry this is off the bottom of the um, off the bottom of the screen, but I've gone to vector 3 and add vector 3. I'll click and drag the position into the A um, vector and I'm going to add um, 10 in the Z direction, so X, Y, Z. So double click on it, go into the 10, uh, sorry, the Z part of it and hit 10. So you can see, double click, I could add 5 in the Y direction and 5 in the Z direction, but because I haven't, it's just going to go straight up and down, not going to move sideways at all. Um, now I've got to add the node that's actually going to get it moving. So right click, add node, and uh, movement. Uh, move entity 2. Once again I have to um, go right click on the choose entity and go assign selected entity. And what I'm doing is uh, to move, to pan this around, I'm middle mouse button pushing down. And to zoom in and out, I'm, uh, I'm middle mouse button rolling backwards and forwards. So let's put that up. Oh, let's put that there, say, and click that and put it into the drag and put it into the destination. So at the beginning of the game, uh, it gets a position and then adds 10 in the Z direction and then gives a destination. So I don't even know where this is in world space at the moment. Uh, it is in x1269 y970 uh, z 103 doesn't worry me because um, it gets that figure those figures wherever I put it and uh, sticks them into this and then adds 10 in the z direction to it so this will end up being uh, 113.3503 you know whatever if I lift it up a little bit it'll just add 10 to wherever I put it uh, the speed I'm going to um, set the speed to uh, 5 and the ease distance to 3. So that means when I trigger it to start, it's going to go uh, at 5 meters per second. It's quite fast actually. Let's drop that down to 2 meters per second. And uh, ease distance of uh, 3 meters. So it's going to take 3 meters before it gets up to its full speed of 2 meters per second. And now you can see start. So when I hit the O key, I'm going to click and drag, whoop, click and drag to the start. And so when I hit the O key, that's going to start it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that, Control C and Control V to copy it. I'm going to put this, drag the P key into the start button here. And then for the destination of this one, it says 000, which is miles away from where it is, or about a kilometre away actually, to be <laughs> fair, uh, but I'm going to grab the position at the start of the game and I'm just going to say go back to there. So you see what's happening, start of the game, it gets the position, it puts it into here and it puts it into here, adds 10 to it and then it puts it into the destination as well. So all this does is when I hit the O key we go up 10 and uh, when I hit the P key it comes down 10 or actually just goes back to where it started. So, um, have, a, have a sniff around some of these other nodes. There's lots of really fascinating ones. The Connect one um, is pretty cool. We haven't got it working yet, unfortunately. Uh, but it's good to see it there. Um, we've got our own version that does work. Um, there's uh, other movement ones to rotate stuff. There's music, which is what, how Roz is probably playing the sounds that you're hearing, the hammer sounds. Um, there's graphics ones, there's uh, uh, image ones, and this is how you can get some um, uh, 3D effects going on. So anyway, uh, have a look in there, but for the time being, I'll close that down, go into the game, go control G, and then, so it sent the entity position, and then uh, hit the O key, it makes me go up, this is me, looking at the view, once I get to the top, hit the P key, and I'm coming down. I should have assigned a surface uh, property to that uh, material, shouldn't I? So there you go. Um, moving entities. <laughs> Excuse me. Had a bit of a niche.
uh, and that's all there is to it. Um, enjoy. <laughs>